With an estimated operating life of 20 years, Shondoni Coal Mine forms part of an intense capital replacement program by Sassel at their Secunda plant. Concrete coal storage bunkers used in the supply of coal to Sassel's coal to liquids plant at Secunda, the biggest of its kind in the world, is nothing new. With the necessity to improve the construction methods, coupled with pressure from environmental groups and the need to be more cost-effective, Stefanuti Stock Civils had to look at alternative methods of construction. The pre-cast method of constructing bunkers was presented to Sassel and after weighing up the pros and cons, the contract awarded. The contract called for Stefanuti Stocks to design and construct a bunker at the colliery within a 12-month time frame. Constructed of concrete and with overall dimensions of 85 meters long by 20 meters wide and 28 meters high, the bunker has a coal handling capacity of 15,000 tons. The bunker comprises of 491 precast panels with an average of 3.2 panels placed per day, peaking at 22 panels on the sloping and vertical wall units. Precast components weighed in at between 5 and 22 tons. A revolutionary method of placing the precast elements was devised and an overhead crane was placed on top of the columns. The precast elements were hoisted into position using two riggers. First, the rigger on the outside of the bunker guides the element into the bunker and then a second rigger takes over and steers the element to its final resting place. Using this method sped up the placing of elements and made for much safer working conditions. The integration of the overhead gantry crane to the superstructure brought about a massive saving on the hire of a mobile crane to perform the placing of the precast elements. In addition, it also performed other functions, like the placing of the chutes, precast dividing wall elements, etc. With wireless control of the gantry crane, the possibility of miscommunication from the outside to the inside of the bunker was reduced. The bunker has 10 discharge gates located between 11 concrete frames at 7.5 meter centers. Provision for an extended funnel flow has been built into the bunker's geometric design. Advantages include a reduction in excess of wall abrasion to minimize wear and tear on the incline areas. To meet the demands of an extremely tight construction program with time constraints as well as quality and economic requirements, the conceptual design called for pre-casting the main structural elements with the exception of foundations, columns and diaphragm walls. These were constructed in situ. Pre-casting wall panels has a clear advantage over the conventional cast in situ operation. It leads to a superior finish quality and at the same time offers a significant advantage with improved material flow as well as resistance to abrasion. Monolithically connected pre-cast wall panels promote continuity over supports resulting in greater structural stability and economy. This also allows for later extensions. Precast elements were fabricated at a yard close to a ready-mix plant and transported by road to the site some 21 kilometers away. The precast elements are constructed in a controlled environment reducing the possibility of errors in the fabrication process. Stringent quality controls were rigorously implemented at the precast yard. These measures ensured high performance 60 MPA rapid hardening concrete. 
Abrasion resistance tests indicated that this was totally adequate for the application. This made for a turnaround time of one element every two days. Steel moulds used for the construction of the precast elements were computer designed to meet the exacting demands of the complex geometry and to facilitate the precise location of the protruding reinforcement. Essential elements for precise fitting on site. In situ construction proceeded simultaneously with the precast fabrication. Erection of the precast beams followed shortly after the casting of the first columns on site. As a result of the shape and design of the structure, this complicated the erection of temporary scaffolding and specially trained rope technicians were employed to do scabbling and the finishing off of the structure. This brought about a huge saving from having to erect temporary support work as opposed to in situ construction methods. A major factor in the design of the bunker was the safety of personnel. As a result of the controlled environment in which the construction process as a whole was executed, better management of safety and other procedures could be applied. With a zero tolerance to safety, only two men were acquired aloft to direct wall panels into position. Pre-casting the wall panels to be fixed in place in the bunker at a 50 degree angle eliminated the need to work on site under totally impossible and dangerous conditions. The reduction of human resources resulted in better safety control. The bunker construction team peaked at 60 and effective use was made of unskilled labour trained by the contractor. An important feature of the bunker is that it is unlined which speeds up the mass flow of materials. The unusually high level of construction excellence achieved reflects attention to detail in design and construction. The quality of product and attaining the designated objective for the overall contract time in a record 11 months. Placing of the precast elements took only four months. This method of construction, involving the pre-casting of key elements, proved to be economic, fast and efficient, without sacrificing quality and using significantly fewer resources than conventional methods. The Shondoni Coal Bunker project proved that the pre-cast and cast in situ system for large, heavy loaded industrial structures is an innovative and viable option for future similar applications. It holds out great potential for speed of construction, safety and a high standard of quality. Another project successfully completed by Stefanuti's Stock Civils.